I'm going to show you how to get the Ghost Glovewort Pickers Bell 2. It's a real mouthful, I'm not saying it again. Um, but basically, to get to where I am right now, which is the upper Ainsel River area, also known as Noxdale of the Eternal City, I'm going to tell you guys how to get here without doing any quests, um, as I don't think it's all that commonly known. Now, to get here, you will need to have beaten Radan at the very least. Once that is done, then a comet is going to hit the ground over this way, just to the northwest of Fort Height. Go down that go down the hole that the comet makes then, and then you can head on north. This will bring you through Nocron, the Eternal City. There's plenty of stuff you can do around here if you haven't already been down here. But you'll want to follow this road that you can see just here. You don't necessarily have to go through this temple, but you will want to go on around it and come out this other end here where we have a little drop-off, which leads us to the aqueduct facing cliffs. There'll be a few crucible lights here. They don't respawn, so you can clear those out if you wish to, or you can just run past them. But there is a boss fight you will need to deal with, which is the double gargoyle fight. Can be kind of tough, so be prepared for that. Um, definitely use your spirit summon if you're struggling. In this room, then, there will be a coffin. I think it's like in this corner kind of area. Go into that coffin, and that is going to bring you out in the deep root depths. Um, this is going to bring you basically where this grace right here is, the great, great waterfall crest. And from here, you're going to want to pretty much head straight west to get to the next grace, which is going to be just here like you can see on the map. Now, you have a bit of a choice here as to whether or not you want to grab the map fragment on the way through, which is why I've got it marked on the map here. Um, your map will look more like this, but obviously fading out if you don't already have the map fragment. So if you want kind of a way to give yourself a marker, all you really need to do is come down from this pillar just here to where you're kind of in between the two ripples, come to the left a little bit, and that's pretty much going to have you exactly on top of the map fragment if you are bothered about picking that up on the way through. If not, what you'll want to do is just follow this um, waterfall slash cliff line until you get to the nameless Eternal City Grace. Be careful there is a knight around here. It's not too bad, but just be careful of that. And once you've gotten to this point, there will be another coffin on this western side just here. Use that coffin then, and that is going to bring you out at the Ainsel River Main Grace. Plenty of loot around here, but you're going to want, want to clear your way through until you get to the Noxtella Eternal City Grace. And that is where we are going to set off from. Hopefully that helps you out. If you're going to leave now, please leave me a like um, and maybe, you know, subscribe to the channel because that'll be real helpful uh, for me. Either way, we're going to show the exact route to the uh, the bell now. So we'll just come up these stairs. There'll be an enemy just on this stair just here. This will be pretty easy for you to take out. Uh, there'll be a load of, like, blobule kind of metallic looking slimes here. Defeat those. Uh, just be careful with them. Hit them, like, a couple of times and they'll blow up. When you've got them all grouped together, you can actually get quite a good amount of runes pretty quickly there. In here will be a, uh, a group of enemies that I would call the phalanx enemies. These are very similar to enemies we've seen in Demon Souls before. They have, like, a shield on the front and they can kind of poke you with, like, a spear-like weapon. They're not exactly amazingly strong, but there are a good group of them in here. So you kind of just need to try and get behind the shield, hit them a couple of times, and then just kind of work your way through the group. Once you've done that, this chest here that doesn't look like the usual chests you find around Elden Ring is what we're looking for. This is going to give you... Oh, don't do that now! No! Stop! I, don't, I can't believe we can't stop that gesture. There we go. It's done it again! No! I can't believe that. Give me the loot. Here we go. Ghost Glove War Picker's Bell 2. I'm sorry, I'm going to leave that in. That's a funny blooper. I hope that helps you guys out, and I'll see you all in the next video.